What is good people? Welcome to today's full day of eating. The first thing we're kicking off today with is a nice iced coffee. And as for the first thing we're gonna eat today, we're gonna kick off today's full day of eating with a kind of American vibe. So we're gonna have a coffee and a bagel. If you are American, I'm sorry you suffered through that poor attempt at a New York accent. I love these bagels. Super, super moist on the inside. Whole wheat bagels for the win. Then I'll start kicking it off with some of my high protein recipes. I like to start today sometimes with something small like this when I'm not actually that hungry when I wake up. So I either have just a coffee or if I feel a little bit peckish, a coffee and a bagel. And the butter or margin of choice is the flora light. So these I'm going to start my day off with. Both of these things together roughly comes up to around 360 calories. Anyways, what I'm going to do is have this right now, chill for around 30 minutes, then do my morning treadmill. All right, folks, cardio done. As you can see, I'm sweating and moist. So what I'm gonna have now is, I'm gonna have one of these little beef jerky things I got from Muscle Food. They taste pretty good. The physique, we are holding out around 168 pounds right now. I did some weighted ab exercise in the gym for the first time in probably almost six, seven months. And it killed, but I can feel my stomach looking a little bit more pumped. So I think that's from the muscles being hit for the first time in a good while. But yeah, anyway, let's go to the shop and yeah, buy some food, man. I'm getting hungry. I got a little bit peckish on the way out the door, so I thought I'd bring an apple with me. So we got the muscle food chicken, some cheese, and we also got some ham in there as well. Wanted to make something really quick and high protein because if I'm being honest, I was starving after that walk. So in terms of the two chicken sticks, straight away we got around 36 grams of protein. Then obviously we got the ham as well in there and the cheese. I'll put the macros and calories on the screen so you can see it. After I finish this, I'm gonna sit down for probably like around maybe 20, 30 minutes. Then I've got to leave out to go to my chiropractor. I used to catch the Uber there, but to be honest, I've started walking there when it's sunny. It takes me around an hour to walk there, around maybe 50 minutes on the way back, it's uphill. But anyways, I'm gonna eat this now and I'll see you guys for the next meal. It's about that time, so I'm gonna go to my chiropractor. I'm going to bring a protein bar with me though, just in case I get hungry. We're gonna go for this bar right here. As far as I'm aware, it's the best protein bar that my protein now sell. Uh, they've also got a new flavor, which I haven't tried yet, which I do actually have, but I don't wanna bring it with me in case I don't like it as much yet. I will try in another video, but this is their new one. It's the um, chocolate caramel, where's that white chocolate crispy? I already officially co-signed it, because I know it's great. Um, oh, also, while we're here, in case you didn't know, I am now officially partnered with Boohoo Man. So if you shop at Boohoo Man and you want like extra budget gains, like discount, use TJ Gains. So I believe at the moment they have a 30% discount that's already applied to the website. Now if you use TJ Gains, you'll get an extra 10% on top of that. So yeah, for those of you that shop with them, links in the description box. So yeah, I'll see you guys in like two hours because I don't think there's any need to film me in the chiropractor. I've got some other clips I can show you on screen to show you what he kind of does, but you know the gist. Just pure popping on my neck and my back. So we are now back, it's been around well, yeah, two and a half hours. So right now what I'm gonna do is make a decent meal. It's gonna be prawn fried rice. Uh, so we've got two packs of prawns. So it comes up to around 300 grams. We've got duck egg. For being honest, I don't need the duck egg, but I do like the yolk, because um, the duck egg is very high calories. Because um, it's a very large egg, it's around 130 calories per egg of the duck egg, but around 11, 12 grams of protein. Uh, typically, I would make it with just egg whites, and it does taste relatively good. Just the yolk sometimes make it taste better. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is wash the prawns, take out any shit in it, so if you see the dark line, always take out the shit from the prawns. Um, after that, I'm gonna season them just lightly. Probably gonna add a little bit of little spices, uh, maybe a little bit of fish seasoning, and maybe some garlic salt. And then what I'm gonna do is, now that the egg has cooked, so this is when I can add in the spring onions. The spring onion tastes great, so be sure to add them. It really tastes good, especially when you add the rice as well. It's gonna taste really, really good. And the prawns, if you didn't know already, because they're pink, they're already cooked, so it only take around two or three minutes for that to kind of warm through. So whereas the rice in a pan takes roughly around maybe four, four minutes. So I've added the VT rice now. 
All I'm gonna do is break it down so it's just not clumps. If you find it easier, you could actually microwave the rice for two minutes in the microwave. That's what it's meant to do. And then put it in the pan. But I just like warming it up in the pan because I'm gonna add things such as some sweet soy sauce and maybe a little bit of sweet chili sauce, maybe. So for that reason, I just put it all in the pan because it still does the same thing. And I'll show you at the end and I'll show you the calories for the full pan. And the food is now done, people. I wish you could smell it through YouTube, but you can't. But yeah, it smells really good, and I've tried it as well. It tastes pretty damn good. In terms of the macros and calories for this, we're looking at for the full pan and around 70 grams of protein. Uh, I think the carbs and protein almost match each other, and the fats is around 11 grams. That is a super, super delicious meal. And you don't have to eat the full thing as well. You know, normally, which I just realized I forgot, frozen corn, I normally add frozen corn in this. I was thinking why the calories are a little bit lower. But that's the problem with frozen veg sometimes. I forget to look in the freezer. Because if it was in the fridge, when I took out the prawns, I would have remembered. So in another full day in the future, I'll probably show another version with this. If you try this recipe out, definitely try it with the, uh, just the corn as well. Because the corn gives an extra sweet taste as well. Because, well, sweet corn. But yeah, I'm going to eat this meal right now. Can't wait to have it because I'm pretty hungry. That smells great. And that VT rice is the shit. If I haven't promoted it yet, which I think I should have, at least in a vlog. Those VT rice that I get are very very tasty each pot is roughly around 210 calories uh personally if you want to go gram for gram i'd say whole wheat pasta is better but those thai jasmine rice are really really tasty anyways people i'll see you guys for the next meal stay tuned and my sweet tooth is starting to kick in now so what i'm going to go for is two of the little hartley jellies you should know these by now, each one of these are five calories, I love these. One is strawberry and the other one is raspberry. Boom, I'm gonna have that now. And then what I'll probably have, in maybe about half an hour's time, is a banana. And here's a random fun fact, you've probably, actually I know you haven't, you have never seen me ever eat a banana because I, I thoroughly hate the consistency of banana. So for years I've been trying to condition myself to eat bananas though because what I've been trying to do with my nutrition over the years is foods that I know has good nutrients in it that I really should be eating, trying to wean myself onto it. For example, once upon a time, I used to hate peanut butter. I never used to like salmon either or sea bass. Foods that I eat quite a lot right now that helps me get a high protein diet. And things in terms of nutrition, there's many things I've compromised over the years because I'm a fussy eater. But I've really tried to push myself to eat as much things as I can. So bananas, for years I've been blending them in my smoothies. And it just so happened that last week, I just got in from food shopping. And I was cutting up the bananas to put in the freezer to like make smoothies in the future. But I was so hungry, I ate one of the bananas. I sliced up in little slices so the consistency wasn't too bad. And it's quite good. So I'm trying to gradually wean myself onto eating various different stuff. So before a lot of you call me a weirdo because I've never eaten a... Well, this would be my second time ever having a banana in physical form in life. It's one of those things where some people, if you're like me anyway, that was a true fussy eater. Like, it's, it's hard to kind of break out those habits you've had since childhood. But the main thing is, is if you are a fussy eater or in general you just don't like eating certain foods, try and wean yourself onto them if they actually are good. Like, gradually add any bits to stuff like something like a fruit that you don't really like that much. Blend it in a smoothie, little by little, increase the quantity till you get used to the taste. But overall... Just try and branch out and improve your diet. If you really want to see a good physique, you want to improve it, you got to branch out and eat certain foods. You know what I mean? I'd hate, I know for a fact my physique wouldn't be where it is now if I stuck to my diet, if you watched on this channel, from like five years ago where I literally only ate chicken and beef mince was the main and only protein sources I had, which is why I had to rely on whey protein more than I needed to. But yeah, keep that in mind. Anyways, I'm going to take out one of these small bananas and I'll, well, you should know the calories, roughly around, I think, 80 calories because they're pretty small. In regards to supplements I've had today, so the ones I've had today is the Biotin, CLA, my creatine pills, uh, my turmeric pills, and my apple cider gummies. Uh, these are the main ones. And I'm also yet to have this, but I will have it today as well. As always, if you didn't know, I'm sponsored by MyProtein, so if you use TJ Gains at the checkout, you'll get like a huge discount. So yeah, what I'm probably gonna do now is probably try on some of these Boohoo Man clothes that I bought and probably just chill for a bit and then I'll show you when I actually have my next last meal which is probably gonna be something small because I'm to be honest I'm not that hungry today man uh, today we're almost at 20,000 steps already thanks to the walk to the chiropractor and back
buy those ingredients, should know what the last thing I'm going to eat is. It's one of my staples, which is my high protein, high fiber cereal. Typically I have it for breakfast, but I do sometimes have it later on in the day as well, like for the last thing of the day. One, I've been kind of craving this because I actually do really love it because I love granola. I haven't had this probably about three days, which is quite a long period for me. So I'm going to have that now, especially because I'm not like super, super starving. Uh, it should come out to roughly around 400 grams of, 400 grams, it should come out roughly to around 400 calories. Protein typically is around 30 grams. But yeah, it's a very decent meal. If you've never tried it, have it. And basically all it is is cereal. But the difference is instead of just having, pouring the milk in, you make a protein shake. So if you haven't ever seen me do it, just make a protein shake like you normally would, put it in a shaker bottle, add the milk, add the whey protein, shake it, pour it in the bowl, and then add the cereal. That's basically it, except for I'm cereal before milk. Let me know if you are milk before cereal. I think that's a travesty, as people that put the milk in the bowl first is just insane. Like, it's almost illegal. I think it should be illegal. There you go, a very simple, simple and super fast recipe. No, not recipe, it's just cereal. I don't think you can call cereal recipe. But yeah, you'll see the macros and calories on screen. But it's definitely a meal that I definitely have in your house, especially if there's a time when you can't be asked to cook, you need to eat your protein, and you also are slacking on fiber. I know most people tend to slack on fiber, especially if they're having under like 2,300 calories, because the amount of different foods you need to eat, sometimes you don't hit your fiber. This one hits you there, and all brand, trust me, if you've never tried all brand and you assume it's shit, trust me, it tastes good, especially if you have it with cereal milk or vanilla whey protein, but cereal milk is definitely better. Yeah, peeps, this is the main last thing I'm going to eat. The only other thing I'm going to have is probably this uh, Kellogg's Fibre Bar. I really enjoy it. It's around, I think this one's around 111 calories. Uh, there is a cheap, there is one that's less calories, but it's like double the price, more than double the price, so I just stick with this one, which is pretty good. But I like it anyway. Um, also, in regards to that banana earlier, you'll see it logged in. Ended up having two of them because these bananas I bought, I didn't realize how small they were. I didn't realize how unfilling the small ones are. The medium one at least holds me over for a bit. But anyways, people, thanks for watching today's high protein full day of eating. You should be seeing the total calories, the total macros on screen. Overall, we should be almost touching 2,500 calories. In terms of protein, we should be almost touching 180. Fats, I think, should be around 50-ish grams and carbs. I don't really track them super heavy as long as I'm getting at least 150 to 180 grams every single day. But we should be hitting at least probably 240 grams of carbs at least. But anyways, people, thanks for watching the video. Hit the video with a thumbs up if you really enjoyed today's full day of eating. If you'd like more, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you soon, either in a vlog or in another full day of eating. But yeah, subscribe if you're brand new. Stay getting gains. Deuces. Make a million cash for you flatline Make a master plan, watch it backfire